hello guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this video we are going to learn fork effect in redux haga okay so before moving forward please subscribe this channel to get more videos on react and redux concept so let's jump into the official website so to understand uh, what is Hork. So Hork, as you can see, basically uh, it's a effect that uh, instructs the middleware to perform a non-blocking call on a function. So uh, in general, basically uh, Hork is, is is used when when you have to start a non-blocking task means non-blocking task means uh, we will have a couple of tasks and they can run independent from uh, one another so uh, I mean if if uh, this kind of situation we have in our application then we use then we use the fork uh, effect in a redux haga so we don't have to basically uh, uh, wait for it to complete okay so uh, this is the basic basic use case of fork uh, in a redux haga so it's just like the call effect uh, the call effect I have already explained uh, in the in one of my video. So if you haven't watched that video, then please uh, click on this i, I button. And uh, so the call basically is used to invoke both normal and generator function. And in fork also you can invoke both function, but fork is a non-blocking so uh, middleware uh, does not suspend the uh, generator while waiting the result of fn uh, fn means here function uh, basically uh, will return a promise oh, okay so if if you are uh, uh, passing then a normal function okay so this won't uh, wait basically or the result of function instead uh, it will uh, it will execute uh, and the uh, generator uh, resume uh, immediately so uh, this is the uh, basic use case of fork and uh, we can see <coughs> in the code how we can uh, implement this fork effect so we are basically following that counter application and i have uh, made a around seven uh, video on redux tutorial and if you haven't uh, watched from the start then you can click on this i button so you where you can learn other effect like hate hate latest take every call put all so this all all effect i have already explained uh, in this tutorial so let's uh, jump into the vs code so as you can see uh, i have my roots haga so instead of uh, writing this way we can use fork here okay so let's import uh, fork and uh, here basically i'm declaring one variable so you can give it whatever you like name so i'm giving app saga so so i'm going to for this all uh, saga okay like increment saga decrement saga 
h post okay and for now i will just comment this one and i will i'll just create another uh, root haga So as you can see, the application will work as it is, uh, the way it was working before. So you can increment, decrement, and you can also fetch the host from the fake uh, JSON API. So this is the I mean the fork concept in a Redux Haga. So it's uh, mainly useful when you have to start an, an a non uh, blocking task. Means you can start the task and continue ex executing without waiting to complete. Okay, so. That's it guys, uh, I hope you understand the fork effect and uh, if you like this video then please press the like button and subscribe the channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye bye.